running ADB on your Quest headset itself. It's been a lifelong dream for those that enjoy modding their Quest devices ever since they came out. However, it's been fairly difficult, or even impossible, until the latest update. You see, with the new push from Android 10 all the way up to Android 12 came wireless debugging inside developer options. Now, we of course don't have access to developer options on the Quest, well, the proper Android developer options. But what we do have access to is apps that allow us to change the device's databases. And with this comes the option of enabling wireless debugging. What is up everyone, I'm Mystical. And today I'll finally be bringing you a tutorial on how to enable wireless debugging on your Quest devices, as long as you're on the latest update with Android 12 enabled. While this may or may not work with older versions, I cannot confirm this, as I can no longer roll back in order to try it on those. So. Enough blabbering, let's jump right into the tutorial. Let's begin with the fact that this isn't going to be simple, and you will still require a PC at least once in order to sideload everything that you're going to need onto the Quest. This isn't as simple as sideload an app, click a button, and everything will work just yet. And while I have actually managed to get it to that point on my own Quest devices, I've been told that this doesn't seem to work for everyone. So instead, what we're going to be using is we're going to be using a tutorial posted by Blackle on Basti's server. Hopefully your tutorial can help hundreds of people. With all that being said, let's jump right into the other angle. So before we even begin, once again, you will require developer mode enabled on your quest. This is a prerequisite for basically anything to do with quest modding. You always require developer mode enabled, so make sure you have it enabled. Jumping straight into the tutorial, the first thing you are going to want to download is Oculus Wireless ADB. You will also be required to have Termux on your quest in case you don't have it on there already. That's quite a popular app, so some of you might already have that. And you will also require user land and through this we will install a debian distro that will allow us to kickstart the adb connection on our quest once you have all those apks downloaded oculus wireless adb termux and user land now we can move on to the pc part take your quest power it on and connect it to your computer then launch sidequest on your pc in case you don't have sidequest downloaded yet i will leave a link for it down below. Your quest should show up in the top left of SideQuest. If it's saying it's unauthorized, you might need to accept a dialogue that's showing up inside your quest. Once you have this complete and your quest is successfully showing up in SideQuest, you're going to want to install all these APKs onto your device. To do this, all you do is you press this button up in the top right of SideQuest, then find the APK files that we have just downloaded. As you can see, I have three of them here, so I'm going to go in and I'm going to select each and every one of them separately to install onto my quest. Then at the very bottom it will tell you that it's waiting and it will also tell you when it's successfully installed all of those apks as you can see here all tasks completed meaning all of these apks are now successfully on your quest now what you will need to do before you close out of SideQuest and before you close out of your computer is you're going to want to copy the following commands into SideQuest. So you just want to press copy, then go up here, go to custom command and paste the commands in. Then press run command and what this is going to do is it's going to grant the Oculus Wireless ADB app the permissions it requires in order to turn on wireless ADB. Same with the other command right here. This will allow it to read the logs to find out which port it's using for that wireless ADB. Once this is complete, you can now unplug your quest from your computer. You will not need a PC pretty much ever again. Now we need to jump into the quest itself as the tutorial continues from inside the device. Once you are successfully inside your quest, you're going to want to go into the bottom right app library, go to the top right, unknown sources, and then click on user land. This will bring up the user land UI directly in front of you. And in here, you are going to want to install the Debian distro. Uh, then it will ask you for permissions. So you just need to grant it the permissions that it's going to ask for. Set a username and a password for your VNC. So I'm going to do that right now. Then once you have created your VNC here, you are going to want to select SSH. So clicking on SSH, you then want to click continue. And that is going to fetch your asset files and find everything that you require. This is going to take a while to download. So you just need to sit back and relax. Once you see the service is started up, it's going to ask you for the password that you set up. So I'm going to put that in right now. And as you can see here, we are now inside the Debian SSH instance. Then here you are going to want to type sudo space apt dash get space and then install space 
A D B. And then that is the command that you want and press enter and that is going to install ADB. It's going to ask you whether you want to confirm this. So press the letter Y and then press enter and that is going to install ADB on the Debian instance. So once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is go into sessions, hold click on this, click on stop session. And then once the session is stopped, you will want to fire up Termux. Inside Termux, you're going to want to install package tools. For that, that's PKG space install space Android dash tools, then press enter. Once you do this, you'll get a big line of code. It might ask you to confirm. If it does, press the letter Y and then press enter. Once you have ADB installed inside Termux, you will now want to restart your headset. So that's exactly what we're going to do, just for safety reasons. Now, once you have rebooted, you will want to go to unknown sources and launch Oculus Wireless ADB. Once this is on, move it over to the right and click on the button that will enable ADB. You will want to click always allow on this network. Then what you will want to do is also launch Termux at the same time. Inside Termux, you will want to type ADB space devices. Here you should see that the list is empty. You see list of devices attached is empty. Then I will start user land and inside user land, I will go to sessions and I will start up the session. As you can see, that is now running. I am going to type in my password and here I am. Then inside here, you will want to type ADB space connect space 127.0.0.1 colon and then the port number press enter and this is now going to connect you to your quest and you can see you are now connected directly to the quest using user land then you can run adb tc pip 5555 press enter and now it's going to restart in tcp mode port 5555 meaning you can now close user land go over to termux and type adb space connect localhost colon 5555 Press enter, and this will now connect you to the local host of 5555, meaning you now have full control over your quest right here inside Termux. You can feel free to now close Oculus Wireless ADB, and to prove that this does work, what you can do is you can, for example, try ADB reboot. ADB reboot device. That works. The quest has restarted. I just hope that that recording was saved. <laughs> So, as you can see there, this isn't the easiest thing to do just yet. Again, I wish it could just be a simple sideload APK that we can sideload and it does everything for us. Who knows, maybe in the future this will be exactly what happens. The way I have it set up on my other Quest devices is I have actually set a permanent port for ADB over Wi-Fi. To do this, I had to use a database app in order to modify the Quest's tables and add my own table that specifies which port I want to use for wireless debugging. It's not simple and might actually seem intimidating to other users, which is why we use this much easier method posted on Basti's server. Also, feel free to join their server down below. But with all that being said, we did get there. We have wireless ADB running on the Quest itself, allowing you to mod your device directly on the Quest. You want to change the resolution? Go ahead. You want to launch apps in the background? Go ahead. This has tons and tons of possibilities that we might go over in a future video. Today's video is just about how to get it up and running. Let me know what you're using wireless ADB for on your devices down below. And as usual, that is going to be it. If you guys like this one, please do leave a like. If you disliked it, I guess button works too, but let me know why down below. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord and check out our Reddit down below where I would love to see you discussing anything you like. Thank you so, so much to all the lovely names going off to my right. Those guys are my Patreons and they're supporting the channel greatly right now. So much love to you guys. And thank you so, so much to anyone else that supports the channel in any other means. And as usual, if you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Peace.